Okay, in this video I am going to show that one of the new features with this latest version which is the motor trace or motor movement monitoring. Now to turn it on we first at the main menu we first have to go to utilities then preferences and there's our list of preferences and at the bottom is motor, mood, motor movement monitoring and right now it's turned off so to turn it on I'm going to touch the words then touch the plus sign and now it's changed to motor movement monitoring on so I'll hit finished so now I am going to set up my little quilt um, reference point there we go okay so quilt and it's already the sequencing is already set up for me so I'm just going to go so quilt it's at the start point um, I've set my speed on my machine and on IQ and we're just going to stitch out part of this this partial pattern of a little fairy um, the motor trace button doesn't show up until the machine starts stitching it will be here but it won't show up until I touch start so I'll start the machine stitching and then as it's stitching I will touch the button and you'll see um, you'll see a black uh, line tracing along the stitching so we'll hit start okay there's the trace i'm going to hit it to show trace now i'll zoom in so you can see you see that black line let's pan around it's following the design Okay, I'm going to pause my stitching right now because I want to point this out. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Oops, yeah, the image here. Now you can see the, the black line, or it looks blue to me actually, but anyway, that black line is where my machine actually moved. It's showing you where the motors actually went. And you can see it did not follow the pattern very closely at all. That's an indication that the, the machine is going too fast and I need to slow down the speed and the details. But before I do that, I usually just actually look at my stitching. And if it really doesn't look too bad, then I'll just carry on. Um, but this shows me where it actually stitched. So I, for the next one that I stitch out, I'll slow it way down. But for right now, let's go back to true size and we'll carry on stitching. Um, you'll also see that the line doesn't stay, it's just a trailing line, so it gradually dies off here. So if you want to look at how your machine is, is working, you need to pause your machine so you can zoom in and see the design. So I'll start it off again and we'll, have, we'll zoom in a little bit more and um, we'll watch that blue line. Look at this, this is horrible. <laughs> that really, really didn't follow that at all. I've got, let's look at dwell, I got, I've got dwell off, which means IQ's just zooming through those points. Maybe if I turned the dwell on, it would make the points a little bit better. But let's just continue, we'll zoom out a bit, we'll just continue on and we'll see. <laughs> Okay, it's finished that one, <laughs> and uh, you saw how poorly it followed the tra the uh, the the pattern on the screen. Um, this, it, like I said, it's a good way to see, to test whether you've got your machine moving too fast, and that's causing problems that you're seeing, or in fact it's the pattern. If you suspect the pattern is at fault, turn on your motor trace, and if the trace is following that pattern, that exactly then you know it's the pattern that's got the wobbles or what have you um, and not the fact that you're going too fast okay we're going to stitch this fairy again uh, I'm not going to cut the threads so it's just going to move over 
and I'm going to slow down my IQ. So I'm really, it was, speed was at 1, details 0 0.6. I'm really going to slow this down drastically. Um, um, let's do that. And then I will also need to slow down my, um, my speed on my machine. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to start it going again. And we'll watch the trace just as we did before. Okay, I have there it is. It's really, you can see how it's really following the pattern. I've got a couple of little wobbles there. But it's really following it. Fred broke at that point but let's do this let's just zoom into where we were because you can see this even though there are wobbles here it's following that um, that hand a lot better okay let me rethread my machine and I'll start it off going again the, the top thread broke and we'll do a little restart okay needles threaded moving my machine to where I want to restart looking up here and you can even see it traced where I moved the machine to get back to where I wanted to start <laughs> which is interesting okay that's where I want to start all right start I'll zoom in again once we get past that, that little part in the pattern quite nicely. There, off the line a bit there, but I don't think it's enough to worry about. Again, I've still got to dwell off, so it's not going to give me super sharp points, but it's following the, the pattern a, a lot better. Now that was just a delay uh, in the in the information on the in, on the screen. Let's go two sides. And you can see that those little wobbles that looked really huge when I zoomed in on that image looked like they were a real problem, but this is the re actual size it's stitching at, so those little tiny wobbles really don't show up in the stitching. Okay. So that's uh, motor trace, and like I said, it's, it's very useful just to check that you're running IQ at the correct speed to give you the best stitch out.